Say hello to Dreamer, everybody. Dreamer, say hello. <laughs> <laughs> say hello to Dreamer. Okay, guys, we just tried our first live stream, and due to the <laughs> due to the really bad internet out here, it just broke up really, really bad. Sandra and Michelle were both there, and they were given they were able to give me some really good feedback, but I think it didn't even last five minutes. It was just too hard uh, to do. So what we're going to do is I'm going to try it again tomorrow at noon. Uh, weekends are notoriously more difficult, but I think it's going to be really nice tomorrow. So there's a good chance people will be outside doing things. Less likely that they will be at home on the Internet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try at 10 o'clock Central Time, which hopefully will give me a better chance of, of being able to, for this to run smoothly. Okay? Now... If it doesn't work then, I'm going to try Monday at 10 o'clock in the morning because weekends are difficult. So let me try during the week um, when a time when normally people are at work. I really apologize for those of you who are working for now. Um, but I promise you every time I'm traveling and close to a city, I will do a live stream and I will make sure and let you know uh, where I am and what time that will be and I'll try to do them more often there because I really want to have that interaction back and forth with you guys um, I've spent the last two days getting uh, doing it collecting a lot of stuff getting ready for the trip We did do a couple of videos. I think I said in that last yes. one then we lost them So I'll try to update you on where I am getting all ready for the trip uh, tomorrow, I'll do a video on that Okay, so uh, yeah, I do have to go on the forum. I've got some questions I want to answer. Bear with me, guys. I'm trying to get everything done here at once. I really wanted to leave uh, Saturday or Sunday, but uh, X number two, you know, the bad one, the, the difficult one, the one that wasn't nice. Well, he has offered to get Inca fixed for me, and that's 150 bucks right there. And thanks to all of you guys. Uh, with the website and the memberships and sessions and all y'all thanks to your support. I have plenty of um, Money to give me the food that I need because I'm going to be camping and boondocking and For get enough gas money to get out to Florida. So I cannot tell you how Nice that is to feel like you're that supported. So all of you guys on the website I am just so lucky to have you, and I'm just so lucky to have your support so that I can do this. Of course, I will let everybody know in my videos where I am, so if you're anywhere around the area where I'm going to, to be heading, well, let me know. I'll be happy to I'll be very excited to meet up with you, have a cup of coffee somewhere so we can just chit-chat. All right? Sounds like fun, right? <laughs> AJ? Yep, I'm coming. Just... Probably be Tuesday or Wednesday is when I will be at your place. They're outside of Baton Rouge. I'm very excited. Never been to Baton Rouge before, so that's going to be a first, first time. So also wanted to let you guys know that the X number two, the one that probably the most difficult person in my life, aside from my mother and father, was X number two. And he has also... Let me know that if I need more support monetarily for food or gas or anything, that be sure and let him know that he, he is uh, wanting to be supportive of me in this trip and in this enterprise. So, see guys, it does work. The trick here is, the reason why I brought this up, is because this is a part of the time timeline thing. And the, the illusion of time and the law of attraction and telepathy, all those things work together. Well, everything works together with everything, right? So as long as I don't go back in time in my mind, if, as long as I don't run over all the horrible things that, that X number two or anyone else has done for me, then I will go to collective consciousnesses where they will be doing what I expect them to do. So, in X number two's case, as you guys know who've been following me, I have been expecting him to be a nicer and nicer person. Like I do happier and happier, I also do, in X number two's case, 
seeing him as a nicer and nicer person. And the reason why I told you that he was doing that for Inca, he was, uh, he paid for her rabies shot today. And he's there to lend support as well. So visualizing you guys supporting me in this enterprise and getting out and connecting with other people and getting other people to connect with each other. That's what I visualized, what, 10 months ago? And now it's taken slow but steady. But now I've got a website. All of you wonderful people are in there supporting it. Thanks to that support, I'm able to get out here and do these travels. And when I finish this travel and come back after I help Stephanie do the floor in this house, then I'll probably go out to the West for a circle around. And I couldn't do any of that without your support. And I visualized that I would have support in this way. And that's what I've gotten because I expect it. I believe it. Now, I don't know for those of you who follow the Nye Family Collective people, Zen Mommy had an experience where she went to the other side. She definitely experienced um, a little bit of 5D, but mostly she went way out of this game. There was a lot of it that she went way outside of this game. She remembered who she was. She understood the, stood the illusion of time. She talked about how beautiful it was how beautiful here was, and basically she just didn't stop laughing. As far as I know, she's still laughing. Uh, great fun, by the way. You have to laugh whenever you hear her talk about it because uh, her laughter, like most people's laughter, is very contagious. But when she got on the other side, I think she came back, she was talking about that she was talking to her higher self to see if she'd gone to the other side or whether she cheated, which I thought was amusing myself. But the higher self reminded her that it, it is available and it has been available all along. That all it takes really is you believing it. And believing it is what everybody uses these different words for. This uh, positive intention or faith, believing, chanting, vision boards, whatever it is that you've got to do to get yourself in the place that you believe these things, that's when you will see these things start to happen. So it's all a matter of truly believing. Believing that you really are a God. Believing that you are a part of the one, the all that is. Believing that the law of attraction does work. That whatever you vibrate at, whatever frequency you vibrate at, you will be automatically in the company of a collective consciousness that is in that range of whatever you're vibrating at. So in order to get to a collective consciousness of happier, more enlightened people, you have to believe that that's possible. And then you have to start moving in that direction. Understanding immediately, quickly, and without a doubt, that since you are on a planet right this second, where people are dying, suffering, they don't have enough food, the children can't get medicine, all of these horrible things that are happening around the planet, you have to be vibrating, you have to believe, know, fully understand that if you are on a planet where you're seeing that kind of things where bad things are happening, then that means that you are vibrating in such a way that that's the collective consciousness that you match with. Now the trick after that is to understand and truly believe that in order to get to a collective consciousness, a planet where things are better, to just accept the way things are is not going to work. You just, that will just keep you right where you are. Not exactly, but within a range, back and forth, back and forth. That's what you will do. But what you do have to understand is in order to get to that higher consciousness level, with the collective consciousnesses that are on a higher level, then you have to be happier and happier and happier. If you're happier and happier and happier, you will be taken to a collective consciousness where the other beings are happier and happier too. And there are less bad things happening. Does that make sense? Yeah. <laughs> Alrighty then.
So, I think we'll pause there because I really don't want to go much more into time and telepathy. What I'm looking for is I'm looking to see how you guys are doing with the assignments from the web page, website, of trying to guess each other. Like I told you, the one uh, uh, G, uh, Michelle did really, really well done. Of course, she is peripherally seeing magical creatures, so you know that she's vibrating pretty high. Uh, I want to remind you that when you are doing this happier and happier, like I've told you before, and I will say it again and probably over and over again, as you raise your frequency or if you lower your frequency, especially if you do it very consciously on purpose, there is a very good chance that you will lose people in your life, that they will no longer be in the part of the collective consciousness that agrees with you. So if you're over here going, no, I want a happy earth, you're not going to be with collective consciousness that is here right here right now because that collective consciousness is wanting to experience some not so good things right and you need to raise your vibrations to a happier and happier place knowing that you will be taken to you will merge with another aspect of all that is that it is also planet earth but that is ra that is uh, vibrating at a higher level where they can no longer access low, low, low vibes that will take you to what you see around you will be a, a more enlightened, a much happier, uh, more aware collective consciousness on the way to 5D. It's all about all of these things working together. Because like I'm you, you're me, we're part of the all that is, we are the all that is. So you have to start believing that and make an active decision to start consciously creating to take you to a collective consciousness where the vibrations are higher. It's not a matter of, guys, of not being happy where you are. I'm not saying that. If you want to appreciate the experience of a struggle, if you want to appreciate the experience of watching someone go from rags to riches. If you want to appreciate the experience of fighting back cancer and living to tell the tale, that's stupendous. Stay in the vibrations that you're in. But if you're ready to experience less extremes than, and more fine-tuning, then that's what we're doing when we go to 5D. There's still duality there, but the extreme bouncing from extreme low to high, it happens far less frequently. So we're going to be doing far, we're still going to be jumping as much as we always have. It's just that the amount of jumping that we do will not be from extreme despair to let's go to the birthday party for my five-year-old. Yay, and mean it. Okay, you're not going to go that much difference. It's one of the cool things about 3D Earth is that extreme difference. But in the belief and the knowing that you're going to raise your vibration to go to a different dimension with different experiences. I didn't see better. I didn't say better. I didn't say that you were a better person or you were, uh, uh, you were more further along in the game of, spirituality not saying that even when i say enlightened i mean that literally i mean that you literally have more light what you consider light in your physical body you are allowing more physical light into your physical body which makes you lightened up you will be more lightened you will be lighter you will be less physically heavy. In 3D, you're definitely less lightened. You're very much into the lower vibrations. You are very, very physical. As you raise your vibrations, you will pull into more of an energy um, existence, less physical. As you lighten up or become enlightened, you will become your physical reality around you will become less dense and more light, 
lighten in more ways than one. Okay, does that make sense? All right, I'm going to pause this and I'm going to go ahead and put it up on YouTube and the website so that the, just so I can clarify what happened and what's the plan for live fees from Pfizer. Live stream to the next time. Till tomorrow at 10 o'clock, live, live stream. So we'll say, hello, Stephanie. There's Stephanie, not live, but we were trying to do live. Now look behind her, look at that backdrop. Isn't that a beautiful sky? Beautiful sky. That's the back porch. And we'll say goodbye to Dreamer. There he is. He saw you heard us say his face. He went to the vet dairy in too. <laughs> we said his face. And we, because he's got a skin breakdown really bad. So we've got him some some assistance as well. And he is having some ear problems. So we have a very good veterinarian to use natural products. But he is very stubborn. So, yeah, we had to get the rabies shots. I don't like that because I don't like injections for anyone. But uh, that's I have to have that in order to get into the parks. And I want to go into the parks. So, yeah. Alrighty then. Okay. I'm going to compress this and move this over. And we will try this again tomorrow at 10 Central Time. All right. Thank you guys for trying. I do appreciate it. I love you so much. And I'll talk to you later. Huge hugs. Bye now.